Next is lymphatic filariasis. So, first phase of biannual nationwide mass drug administration MDA campaign for lymphatic filariasis elimination was reached last recently. That is the context. So, biannual nationwide mass drug administration campaign for lymphatic filariasis elimination was launched recently. Lymphatic filariasis. You might have see, seen people with having uh, large limbs. Elephantiasis is another name for lymphatic filariasis because the part of the body appearance to be similar to that of the uh, uh, like elephant leg or elephant uh, limb. Okay, that means it becomes huge due to lymphatic deposition. Lymph are liquid uh, in the body uh, similar to that of the blood. Okay, the deposition of this causes lymphatic filariasis. Another term is elephantiasis due to its appearance. Okay, the campaign aims to check disease transmission by providing free preventive medications to the residents in the area affected by disease. See, this disease is caused by Butcheraria brancofti. Okay, it's a vector borne disease. What's a vector? What is a vector? Vector is an agent of transmission. Okay, it is a vector borne disease which is caused by Butcheraria bancrofti. It's a, a parasite. Okay, protozoa rather. It's spread by Culex mosquito. So, in the areas where the Culex mosquito is high, there is a chance that it gets heavily transmitted from people to people. Why? Because the protozoa known as Butcheraria bancrofti will be transmitted from one person to another by the Culex mosquito. Remember, it's Culex. Okay. This mosquito grows directly in accumulated, in dirty accumulated water. It's a neglected tropical disease. What does a neglected tropical disease mean? In the tropical areas, we are having many uh, diseases which are usually do not have any specific cure or more researches are not happening in these uh, uh, diseases because these diseases are mostly limited to the tropical countries. Okay. Now, as I said, it is mostly another name is known as elephantiasis because it's of, of its appearance. Now, infection occurs when filarial parasites are transmitted to human through mosquito bites. Okay. Infection is usually acquired in the childhood. Causes head and damage to the lymphatic system. Okay. Now, if we see the pre prevalence in the country, it affects over 120 million people in the 72 countries throughout the tropics and subtropics of Asia, Africa, Western Pacific, parts of Caribbean and South America. Okay. So, majorly it can be seen in these areas. So, as we said, the major reason for its transmission is Culex mosquito, which is majorly seen as growing in the dirty water. So, mostly these are seen also in poor in population living in the areas of poor sanitation or hygienic conditions. Now, it does not kill the affected people but may cause poor permanent disfigurement, reduced productivity and social stigma. As we, as I said before, the elephant has its name is because of the appearance of the uh, uh, part as like, similar to that of giant appearance will occur, okay, leading to permanent disfigurement and reduced productivity and also a social stigma can also be a result of this. Now, treatment, it can be eliminated by stopping the spread of infection through preventive chemotherapy with space safe medicine combinations repeated annually. Okay. Another thing is to uh, disrupt the areas of uh, formation or areas of growth of the Culex mosquito because vectors are responsible for transmission, right? Culex mosquito are responsible for transmission. Then, when we consider India's effort, India is committed to eliminating the lymphatic filariasis by 2027. Three years ahead of the global target through mission mode, multi-partner, multi-sector targeted drive for which we have drawn up to the roadmap. So, if we say globally, the lymphatic filariasis global target is to eliminate it by 2030, but India's target is to eliminate it by 2027. 